Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be asking the question, which of these two AIs has the best AI voice cloning? Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. I'm Henry, I'm from Product Creation Formula. Here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that sounds interesting to you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Okay, guys, here we are at play.ht. Now, play.ht does have a voice cloning aspect that you can use. Now, before we go too far, and sh before I show you what this is like for my car, what I've done was I created a calm voiceover. And I'll show you how I did that in a moment, but let's have a look at the pricing between Play HT and Descript. So these are the two we're gonna be checking out today, and we're gonna be checking out which one would you think, and what I think, are going to actually be the best voice cloners. Now, Let's have a look at this one. If you look at the free plan, you get 12,500 characters in total. That's it. You don't get any more. That's for the free plan. And then you have $32 a month and you get 3 million characters per year. Or if you want to go unlimited, this is amazing. You get for $29 a month or it's, it's considered $348 billed annually. Now, of course, this is for yearly. It's only $29 a month. If you're playing monthly, it obviously goes up. This goes up to $99 a month. There's a massive difference. If you pay annually, it's only $29 a month. And of course, you have this one over here. Now, I would strongly suggest that if you get this one, that you do do this one because it's unlimited. And you want something where you, you have no limit to your characters, which is what you want. Also, too, if you want to have a look at Descript, if you prefer Descript's voiceover, then you've got this one here, which I, I'm i actually a member of this particular one here. And this one here gives me 120 minutes a month of a you know, voiceover. When I also, what I do is I also use my clone voice on this one as well. Now, in both cases, I, use, I created a voiceover that was calm. I used a very, very calm voiceover for this one. And I also used a very calm voiceover for this one. Now, I'm going to play this one back to you. And you can determine which one you like. Now, I've got several here, just reading out a small paragraph. And you can have a listen to each one of these and determine and tell me which one you prefer. Today, Meta is following up with the release of Code Llama, a version of the model that has been tuned for programming tasks. The release could mean more developers getting a taste of AI-assisted coding. It could also inspire new ways of embedding AI into software, and it could help further establish Meta as the preeminent supplier of open AI tools. Now, what I did was previously, this had actually been spaced out and it had A with a space there and a comma behind it. And it sounded kind of a bit like that. Now, if we were to play this entire thing from the beginning without having any of those gaps, what we can do is I can go back over here, get rid of that gap, and we can have a listen to the one I had just previously started and just previously created. So let's have a quick listen to this one and we'll have a listen to see what it's like. Today, Meta is following up with the release of Code Llama a version of the model that has been tuned for programming tasks. The release could mean more developers getting a taste of AI-assisted coding. It could also inspire new ways of embedding AI into software. And it could help further establish Meta as the preeminent supplier of open AI tools. So that's one. So we'll listen to this one. Today, Meta is following up with the release of Code Llama, a version of the model that has been tuned for programming tasks. The release could mean more developers getting a taste of AI-assisted coding. Now, that particular one, I had taken away the, the, the comma and so forth, or I should say the gap, and I added, there was a comma there. So, as you can see, it does have a little bit of a struggle with this, but it does sound like my voice, a very calm version of my voice. And that's exactly what I wanted it to do. 
Now, let's have a look at Descript. Now, I did Descript from the actual desktop one, and you can have a listen to this one from the very beginning. Let's have a listen to this. Today, Mita is following up with the release of Code Llama, a version of the model that has been tuned for programming tasks. The release could mean more developers getting a taste of AI, assisted coding. It could also inspire new ways of embedding AI into software, and it could help further establish Meta as the preeminent supplier of open AI tools. Now what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to remove that a little bit just there, remove that, and what that will do is it's going to actually recreate this, and then it's going to put all down here and allow it to do it. Now it does take a while, unfortunately. This does, Descript is one of my favorites, but it does also take quite a while to go through and download the voiceover. So we, while we're waiting, I will do a little bit of a change here and I'll get it to change it. And you'll see how much faster this particular one is. And now I'm just gonna go there and find all the AIs. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of a space everywhere I see the word AI, there we are. And then we're gonna get it to regenerate. Now it does use up my credits. I only get a small amount of credits per month. Actually, this is just a one-off credit. I actually haven't purchased this one. I'm actually thinking I will. At $29 with unlimited credits, it would be pretty good if I did. Now, let's have a listen to this one. Today, Meta is following up with the release of Code Llama, a version of the model that has been tuned for programming tasks. The release could mean more developers getting a taste of AI-assisted coding. Okay, did you see how that it actually runs the word preeminent? And it tends to make it sound a bit wrong the way it's said. Plus, also, too, after putting that space there, it made it sound a bit strange. Oftentimes, when you use the word AI, it goes A, and instead of using the actual word. So we'll just regenerate that one more time. Now, we do have some text from ChatGPT that we can use, and we will use some of that in just a moment. Okay, so let's have another listen to this. Today, Meta is following up with the release of Code Llama, a version of the model that has been tuned for programming tasks. The release could mean more developers getting a taste of AI-assisted coding. It could also inspire new ways of embedding AI into software, and it could help further establish Meta as the preeminent supplier of open AI tools. Okay, so that sounded a correct, it sounded like it said it all correctly that time, which is fantastic. Now, I also have over here, Using this one here, I'll get it to actually read it out. And I'll pop this one over here to, well, let's have a listen to Descript first. Let's see if it's come up and see if it's finished. Looks like it may have finished. Let's take that back to the beginning and we'll have a little, little bit of a listen. Today, Meta is following up with the release of Code Llama, a version of the model that has been tuned for programming tasks. The release could mean more developers getting a taste of AI-assisted coding. It could also inspire new ways of embedding AI into software, and it could help further establish Meta as the preeminent supplier of open AI tools. Okay, so it doesn't really like, sound like it made it change very much at all. But that being said, let's now have a look at how we can get it to change your voice. Okay, so let's go over here to Play HT. Now over here, you've got your voice cloning section over here where it says voice clone, you click on that, and you can create a new clone by adding by going like that. And I'm choosing to go instant, but I'm because I've already got one, I can't create a second one, and because I'm in the free plan. However, that's what you do. You just upload a one minute, or 30 second, I should say, a 30 second voiceover of yourself. And then you upload that straight into it. It can be MP3, MP4, or one of those ones. Now over here, with Descript, it's a little bit different. Now, what you need to do is you go over here to the left where it says AI speakers, you click on that, and then you go new speaker, and you can call it whatever you like, calm voice. I think I'll just leave it at that, because I don't think I've got that anywhere else along here. I've got gentle voice there, so that's fine. Just call it calm voice. But what you need to do is you need to be able to read this out without any major issues. And you have your, your microphone set up and then you can read it in the way you want. Now it won't let you do it by just uploading a voiceover where you've just said random stuff. Like this other one, this can actually allow you 
PlayHD will allow you to upload an audio of your choice as long as it's around 30 seconds long. Whereas this one, it kind of forces you to have to read it, unfortunately. And if you make a mistake, you've got to go back and reread it again. So I'll just have a quick read of what it says. It's not very long. It's only a very small amount of area. And we'll see what it's like. I want Descript to create an artificial version of my voice that I can use to create speech that sounds like me. I am training my voice by reading the following statement. Imagine a big blue ball spinning in space. That's our Earth. On it, there's a tall, there are tall mountains, deep oceans, and huge forests with animals and cities. People talk, play, and work. We all have different voices. Some people speak softly, while others are loud. Every day, we tell stories, ask questions, and share jokes. Now that's what I did for that one. And then all I have to do now is submit it. And then once it's been submitted, it'll then have the voiceover ready for you. So I'm going to just listen to it. I want Descript to create an artificial version of my voice that I can use to create speech that sounds like me. I am training my voice by reading the following statement. Now, of course, I did have a markup on that. So I'm not going to submit that. Now, what I would suggest you do is you keep reading it through over and over again until you get it just right. Then once you've done that, you can submit it. Now, there are different versions on how I've done it. Like, for example, one of my favorite ones is this one. That'll give you 20% off. A man checked into a hotel one day. There was a computer in his room. So Now, I uploaded this one a while ago, quite a long time ago. And that's the voice that comes up quite a bit too. Now, let's go and have a look at how we can start this. I'm going to go over here to Descript. I'm going to add a new voiceover. I'm going to go here and go to my files, go to go to new, go to projects, click on that and it allows this one to open up. I'm going to just go here, start writing and I can now choose a voiceover. Now I could choose Henry excited. I think I'll choose Henry excited in this case. And then we go hit that and that's what it's going to read in. And what I'm going to do is, do is hit done. Now, while it's working doing that, I'm going to go over here to play HT and we're going to start a new one. We're going to start a new voiceover. Let's go new file. And we're going to be adding this one. But before we do, let's choose a voiceover. I'm going to be choosing Henry Calm, confirm. And then we're going to add this right here. Now, this will only take only a moment or two to create this. And once it's created, we'll have a quick look at what it's like. It doesn't take long. Using AI to edit plot content is a game changer because it drastically speeds up the editing process while enhancing the quality of the final product. With AI tools, you can quickly rephrase text. Do you hear the American accent coming out of that? That's kind of crazy. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to refresh this page or maybe try getting it to regenerate without using. And what I'll do is I'll also separate the PLR because as you can see, it's running the words together. Ordinarily, PLR is OK. I'm going to see if I can find where it's got saying PLR. And I'll change that. OK, so let's have a look, listen to this again. Next, improve grammar and even add unique insights, making the content more engaging and personalized. This means you can transform generic PLR into something that feels original and tailored to your audience. OK, see how it ran PLR together like that? That's not cool. So having to separate it is a little inconvenient. So let's have a quick listen to this after I've changed it up and I've separated the PLR. Of course, I'll pause the video until it's finished. Oops, I don't have to worry about that. Using AI to edit PLR content is a game changer because it's quite disappointing that it's using an American accent. I will have a look and see whether Descript is doing that. Okay. So let's have a little listen. We'll see if it's come through the timeline. Yes. Ah, oh, yes, it's ready. Using AI to edit PLR content is a game changer because it drastically speeds up the editing process while enhancing the quality of the final product. With AI tools, you can quickly rephrase text, improve grammar, and even add unique insights, making the content more engaging and personalized. 
Now that one sounded a lot more like me. It sounded because it's got an Australian accent. Now I'm going to change the voiceover as well. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to be changing this one here to my gentle, that's it, gentle voice Henry. Click on that. And we'll get it to regenerate this again. There we are. I don't have to do much. It just automatically does it. Once you've changed an element, it usually just does it for you. So we'll just have to, I'll pause the video until this is finished because this does take a while and we'll have a listen to see what it's like using the gentle voice. Okay, it seems to have finished. Let's have a listen to this. Using AI to edit PLR content is a game changer because it drastically speeds up the editing process while enhancing the quality of the final product. With AI tools, you can quickly rephrase text, improve grammar, and even add unique insights, making the content more engaging and personalized. This means you can transform generic PLR into something that feels original and tailored to your audience, all in a fraction of the time it would take to do manually. Okay, so that one still sounded like me. So out of the two, which do I think would be better? I, at first, really, really, really liked the Play HT. Oh, by the way, I have a link for both of these down in the description down below. I originally liked Play HT probably a little better than Descript. But now that I'm hearing it come up with an American accent, I'm not liking that. Because I want my voice, if I'm going to be having creating videos, I'm tired or I can't get in and create a video. Sometimes I can just throw a script in and then create a video using Descript and Pictory. And I'll add an intro and an outro to it. Now, with that in mind, having that come up with an American accent was really quite disappointing. I didn't think it would do that. I thought because the first couple of times it came through really, really nicely, I thought, okay, I don't need to worry about it. But hmm, it appears that this is going to be a bit of an issue for it. It's not consistent enough which is a real shame. I'll give it one more go by regenerating this and we'll see whether or not it makes it any different or whether it's going to continue with the American accent. I do hope not. Using AI to edit PLR content is a game changer because it drastically speeds up. Yeah, it has the American accent, which is quite a shame. Okay, well, that being said, well, my favorite one is Descript. And I had, as I said, I have a link for both of these down in the description down below. All right, guys. Now, if you got some value out of this video, have you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know which of these two you think are the best AI clones. Also to let you know that right here in this particular video, is about a free AI voiceover that you can use. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. Right here, well, that's an image of my head. If you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.